Hey what's up guys welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to make an emote in Roblox Studio and before we start the video I'm going to have to apologize for not posting for over two months uh, school's been quite hard yeah so I haven't been posting for a while I'm going to try to upload a lot more now so be sure to expect some more videos in the next few weeks so let's get right into the video alright so to make an emote the first thing we need is an actual animation Alright, so to make an animation, we need to first import our avatar. So here, I'm going to go to avatar, rig builder, and just do my avatar. Cause So I'm going to use my amazing avatar. What the hell is even- Nah, I'm not going to do that, bro. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to smash rig builder. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to press on rig builder, and then we're going to import a block avatar. I prefer R15 because R6 is trash. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on their avatar and press on animation editor. Now what we want to do is actually make the animation. I'm just going to make a quick waving animation because I'm not going to waste my time on this video. So I'm going to call this wave animation and what we're going to do is I'm just going to speed run making this rate wait I'm going to speed run making this wave animation What the hell is this I, I don't know what I just made there, but I'm just going to make this our emote, you know? This is an amazing emote. Alright guys, make sure to actually set animation priority to action before exporting. Otherwise, it would look a bit weird. So, click now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the three dots and click on publish to Roblox. I'm going to click on submit. And over here, we're going to have our little link. Click on the link and copy the ID. Now, remember... Now remember, now rem- Wait. WHAT THE HELL IS EVEN- <laughs> Now remember guys, you can't use my ID, that doesn't work, so you actually have to make your own animation, or use an animation, uh, or use an animation spoofer, or whatever it's called. I don't really know the name, but you can't use my animation ID, so if you do try using my ID, it will not work. I'm gonna go ahead and make a new script in our starter player. In our started character script so here i'm gonna make a local script call it wave uh call it i'm gonna call it emote now i'm gonna add in a animation into it and paste the id right here i'm gonna call the animation wave just to be more clear and now we're gonna write local humanoid is equal to script dot parent dot humanoid oh uh, actually i'm gonna do dot colon wait for child humanoid what this is going to do is it's going to find our humanoid since the script is in starter character script that means that it will be in our character once we spawn in so that's really easy to find the humanoid once we have our humanoid we're going to do local animation is equal script dot wave now we actually need to check if we press the key so now i'm just going to make the key e the anim the animation key because why not e is a good what what e. so e is just a good key in general which is why i'm gonna make it the animation all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do local uis is equal to game get service user input service this is gonna allow us to press on a key and it check it now we're gonna do uis dot on i forgot the thing key down no on key input began colon connect function key now we're gonna do if key dot key code is equal to no if key is equal to enum dot key code dot e which is the best key ever now remember double equal sign now we're gonna do local loaded animation is equal to is equal to humanoid colon load animation animation and now we're gonna do loaded animation colon play now let's try this out and if i press e nothing happens anyways what we're gonna have to do 
is actually do wait for child because it won't be able to find it instantly. So we're gonna do wait for child. So just remember to write wait for child because if you don't wait for your children, that's just a bad parenting. So just make sure to wait for your child. And I actually also forgot if it's it's actually if key.key code is equal to enum.keycode.e. So now it must work. And all right, guys. So now that we did this, now if we press E, our animation will play. Here we're doing our little so-called wave. I don't know if this is even. Uh, I don't know if this even counts as a wave, but this is our little wave. So that's the end of the video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you do have any problems or want to know when another video is posted, uh, make sure to join my Discord server, which will be linked in the description. And if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to like since it really helps. And also don't forget to subscribe because nobody subscribes. Look, see guys, 4.3% of you are not subscribed to my... I mean, 4.3% of you are subscribed to my channel. So guys, the 95.7% of you guys, please subscribe to my channel. And this is really... This is actually my channel. This is not off of Google. As you can see, guys. No... No, no, no. It Now it's 1.2%. Look at it. Like, red circle. Okay, guys. Please subscribe. And, anyways, guys. I'll, anyways, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next video, which will probably be tomorrow if I do have time. Alright, see you guys.